Welcome to another tutorial. Today we are discussing directives. It's the same as if you are a CEO of the company and you are giving directives to your employees how to behave and what to do in certain situations. What are directives? Directives are classes that add additional behavior to elements in your Angular application. With Angular built-in directives, you can manage forms, lists, styles, and what users see. The different type of Angular directives are as follows. Components directives with a template. This type of directive is the most common directive type. Attribute directives. Directives that change the appearance or behavior of an element, component, or another directive. Structural directives. Directives that change the DOM layout by adding and removing DOM elements. Today, we are talking about built-in attribute directives. Attribute directive listens to and modifies the behavior of other HTML elements, attributes, properties, and components. Many ng modules such as router module and forms module define their own attribute directives. The most common attribute directives are as follows. ng class adds and removes a set of CSS classes. ng style adds and removes a set of HTML styles. ng model adds two-way data binding to an HTML form element. How to add and remove classes with ng class? You can add or remove multiple CSS classes simultaneously with ng class. To add or remove a single class, use class binding rather than ng class. On the element you'd like to style, add ng class and set it to equal to an expression. In our class, let's define is e special as true. Because is e special is true, ng class applies the class of special to the div. To use ng class with a method, add method to the component class. In the following example, set current classes sets the property current classes with an object that adds or removes three classes based on the true or false state of three other component properties. Each key of the object is a CSS class name. If a key is a true, ng class adds the class. If a key is false, ng class removes the class. Boolean values are hard coded just for demonstration. In the template, add the ng class property binding to current class to set the elements classes. And now we can preview our classes. Now let's talk about ng style. You can use ng style to set multiple inline styles simultaneously based on the state of the component. To use ng style, add the method to component class. Add empty object current style. In the following example, set current styles sets the property current styles with an object that defines three styles. To set element styles, add an ng style property binding to current styles. For this use case, Angular applies the styles upon initializations and in case of changes. To do this, the full example calls set current styles initially with ng on in it. And the last one in today's video is ng model. You can use the ng model directive to display a data property and update that property when the user makes changes. Import forms module and add it to ng modules import list. I'll create a label and an input for this example. Add an ng model binding of an HTML form element and set it equal to the property. Here its name. Now, if we define property inside of our component class, you can see how ng model directive adds two way data binding to our input. This ng model syntax can only set a data bound property. When you write an Angular component, you don't need a value accessor or ng model if you name the value and even properties according to Angular's two-way binding syntax. That's all for this video. 
In the next one, we are going to talk about custom attribute directives. So feel free to subscribe in order to not miss any new upload. And let me know if this video helped you. See ya!